Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The traditional view of human occupation of the Americas, and one that is being challenged all the time I should add, is that people crossed a land bridge connecting Asia to North America around 12,000 years ago. But sinkhole caves in the Yucatan Peninsula have so far unearthed nine skeletons, including a teenage girl that has been linked to modern Native Americans and implies that humans had already reached this far south by 12,000 years ago. The traditional view is constantly being turned on its head, and now many alternative researchers are pushing the timeline of human occupation of the Americas back in time tens if not hundreds of thousands of years. Either way, the discovery of a skeleton at least 9,900 years old in Mexico is certainly an early find. Back in September 2016, explorers were mapping a Yucatan cave called Chan Hol, where they discovered an ancient female who has now been called Chan Hol 3 by the experts. But due to the salty cave water, the collagen in the bones had degraded, meaning radiocarbon dating methods would not work. But calcite from stalactites had dripped onto the female's fingers, and due to the low levels of uranium and thorium in calcite, experts dated the deposits to around 9,900 years ago, meaning the skeleton is certainly older. The skeleton had tooth cavities, indicating a high sugar diet, and we know she died at around 30 years of age. Her cause of death is unknown, but from analysing the skull, she did suffer three skull injuries in her life all of which had healed. Her skull was also pitted with crater-like deformations, lesions that looked like those caused by a bacterial infection like syphilis. She clearly had a very hard life, and also a very unhappy end. Experts are speculating that she may have been expelled from her group and was killed in the cave, or was simply left inside the cave to die. Analyzing the skull in more detail, and its shape was round with a low forehead, one of two groups found in Mexico, the other having longer skulls. It implies that in Mexico thousands of years ago, there were two distinct human groups, both having clear differences, and were also probably two separate cultures, yet they coexisted between 12,000 and 8,000 years ago. The cave where Chan Hol 3 was discovered also contained the remains of a child from 10,000 years ago, and a man who died 13,000 years ago. As stated, the cave today is full of salty water, but in the past, during the last glacial maximum and for a few thousand years after, sea level was more than 100 metres lower than today. The cave system would have therefore been completely dry, and therefore accessible to humans and animals. The cave probably filled with water during a period of rapid sea level rise around 8,000 years ago. The amazing thing about this is that humans or scavenging animals have not been inside this cave ever since, and it is therefore an archaeological haven with untouched finds dating back many thousands of years. Early human finds in Central and South America are constantly rewriting history, and many experts are now thinking that migration into the Americas began around 20,000 years ago, and that humans were in South America at least 18,500 years ago. In time there will be more discoveries. The cave system that is under the spotlight is 4,399 miles long, and so far the experts have only explored 932 miles. In time, we may well find that humanity's story in the Americas actually began much, much earlier than we ever thought. With regards to the skeletal finds from the cave, going forward researchers will look at genetic studies to determine whether the two cultural groups who were present in Mexico had different geographic origins, or whether they were members of the same group that split and adapted to their varied environments. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.